I've wanted to do it for like the last few, few weeks and get it gone before we move house. I'm just thinking about moving house, um, getting in the new house, clearing everything out, and we've got so much to do. So basically, I've dropped off um, like a wicker, big double, <laughs> double bed, like a double bed, like a big sized bed that fits both the dogs in. Um, I bought it for them not even that long ago and honestly it was the most beautiful thing it was like a big wicker basket and then it had a big cushion in the middle and they've absolutely trashed it when I say they it was actually Elton Mary doesn't really chew anything Elton has just chewed it to bits and um, it just constantly drives me mad it's just like just always a mess like chewed all over the dining room floor I bought them just like a cushiony kind of bed instead one that he can't chew and it's a lot tidier and neater so that is happy it made me happy and I also had like an ottoman thing at the end of our dining room table um that Alton has also decided to chew because it had all the dog stuff in you know like their toys and like clean blankets and stuff and he's also decided to chew that to pieces so he's absolutely trashed both things so they've had to go to the recycling centre um just a bit of a crazy day to be honest I feel really over overwhelmed with everything basically last in last week's vlog I told you didn't I that oh lost you <laughs> I told you that um Rick had COVID and it has basically gone around all of us. The only person who hasn't had it so far is Albie. He's managed to not have it. He's just testing negative all the time and he's not ill at all. Um, Rick's still got it, still feeling poorly. I had it and I'm now testing negative and uh, Seth had it and is now testing negative. So he's actually gonna go back to football training tonight, which he's very, very excited about. Uh, he's been off school and now Effie's had it taken a test this morning and that's positive. So it's just great, <laughs> just what we needed this week. So can't really go anywhere or do anything. I thought I'll just go to the tip um, because I haven't had my two negative tests yet. So I don't know whether, um, so I, I still don't want to be like around people or anything like that. So I thought I'll go to the tip, don't have to come into contact with anybody there. Um, what else have I got to do? I'm sure there was something else I needed to do. I can't remember. No, I think that was it actually. Um, I just wanted to get them out of the house. There's been absolutely nothing exciting to vlog. The only place I've been is down to the new house. The quartz kitchen tops went in on, what day was it? Tuesday, I think it was. Um, and they look amazing. The whole kitchen looks so good. Everyone doubted me on the size of the kitchen island. Like Rick, everyone who was like building the house all doubted me. They were like, it's gonna be too big for the space. And I kept my vision and I have actually, yeah, it works. It looks so good. So I'm really excited now. So we've ordered um, three different types of lights. So this afternoon, me and Rick are gonna go down and see which lights we're gonna have over the kitchen island and then I need to order the kitchen stools I keep going backwards and forwards about those ones that I showed you on last week's vlog I think I want them but then I don't know whether they're if they're a little bit too big and bulky because they are quite bulky um, I'm not sure I don't know it's stressing me out but yeah as soon as we've all got COVID no, I can't really do anything <laughs> or go anywhere and I've not done anything exciting this week to be able to bring you along with it so um, I really wanted to do I really want to go shopping and have a little wander around H&M and Zara and I really wanted to take you guys with me and do like a come shop with me this week and it's just not happened because <laughs> um, 
because I can't go in any shop. Well, I mean, I can. In the UK, they've said you don't have to isolate, but I would not feel comfortable like just wandering around knowingly have, having COVID and and like spraying COVID all over everybody. Um, so I've not been anywhere. So I've been doing my nice little morning walks. Me and my sister every morning now are having like a combined walk like she doesn't live anywhere near me whatsoever but every single morning we have been um like saying right what time and we'll go on a walk together and that's been so nice it's been really nice to like get back into the swing of um getting up early and things like that also got back into working out it's been doing me some workouts um because i'm very lucky that he is a personal trainer so he can like run through it all with me so he's put me together loads of like like some 20 or even 10 minute workouts um that's all body weight um just with my like booty band and then also just with some really light weights so i've been doing those and they have been really it's been really really good to like enjoy getting back into some exercise because i'd completely gone off the whole idea <laughs> i'm just not doing any exercise whatsoever so yeah, Monday is supposed to be my three month scan at Christie's. Go for a PET, PET CT scan, which is basically, I had one before when I got my diagnosis and they put like a radioactive um, dye into your blood and then they scan your whole body. They're looking at every single cell in your body and how it responds to, I think it's the glucose in like this radioactive material. Um, I've got to go to Christie's for that which is where I went for all my um, chemotherapy and all my treatment um, so it'd be strange to go back there because I've not been since my treatment all finished in December but I'm really nervous about it because when when I went for my scan before I got the diagnosis it was actually like four weeks in between having your scan and getting um, your results and it's the same again so I'm going for my pet, my pet scan on Monday and then I think my call's the 6th of May so I've got like four or five weeks to just completely wait and find out what's going on which seems like forever when you're waiting for the results on a scan. That's why I'm starting to feel a little bit anxious and stressy about it all. So I'll probably vlog on Monday because I know like I said when I first got my diagnosis and I was like I'm gonna do so much vlogging and like bring you girls along and like bring you girls along with me and share my journey and then actually I just felt like utter shit <laughs> so I couldn't I couldn't even pick have the energy to pick my camera up to even speak on camera so I didn't really like share any of like what was going on um like when I was going to hospital and things so I'll probably vlog on Monday because I know when I was waiting for results and I'd never been to Christie's before and I was so panicked and I think as well you feel like when you think of cancer and a cancer hospital you just feel I don't know about you but I just I thought I mean I just thought that I was going to go to this hospital and every every person in there was going to have like no hair and be really really ill and it's not the case at all um it's, it's really the minority of people that are walking around you know have lost their hair or looking really really poorly um it definitely made me feel at ease when i was worrying about going to like going through the whole cancer journey and then when I went to Christie's for the first time, I felt so relieved and so like, I just got put at ease because they were absolutely amazing. All the nurses and doctors and everyone are just so, so amazing. So yeah, that's on Monday. But today, um, I'm just gonna spend the day with you girls. Like it's just a cozy day at home. And I mean, the most exciting thing of my day has been this, coming out to go to the tip. <laughs> And I think we'll probably get a takeaway tonight because it's only me, Rick and Effie this evening because um, Seth's testing negative and so he's going to go and see his dad tonight because he's not seen him all week. He's not seen his dad all week because um, we didn't want to spread it all around. So my afternoon has just completely got away with me. We've been doing 
like organizing some work stuff and um, just I don't even know where the afternoon's gone so I quickly just got changed into something more comfy because I just didn't feel like me in the baggy jeans I just I can't wear baggy jeans no. Do you know how long it's taken me to build up to wear them jeans? About a year. And I wear them for like half a day and I have to take them off. Anyway, we've dropped the boys off at football and we are just on our way down to the new house to go and see what these lights look like. We've got three different types of lights in the boot and Rick's gonna, well, I don't know how we're gonna do this. You're gonna have to hold them up. So, what a lovely afternoon it is. It actually feels like spring. It's like sunny and I feel like I could have gone out without a coat today. It's that warm. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and see what these lights look like and I'll be able to show you the granite worktops because they've gone in as well. So this is the current state of the kitchen. I wanted to show you the granite and I can't because it's got all the decorator's stuff on it, but it is this gorgeous marble, but it's like, I wanted a marble that's really subtle and I thought this was just the perfect amount of like detail. So it's quartz and it's, what, what uh, thickness is it? 20 mil. And it's the 20 mil thickness and look how nice it looks. Also these have gone on this week. I love the marble with the brass handles and the gray. I think it looks so good. So happy with how it's all looking. And then down this side you can kind of see how it's gonna look on this side with the handles and then the grey and the rain. What I really like is just the range as well. And it matches with the island so lovely. Pulls it all together. So these are the lights that we got. Where's this one from? Amazon? Yeah. So you're gonna have to help us um, work that. out a light. See that, the black cord. Yes, yeah, so this one's like a rope cord, but one of the other ones is plastic, isn't it? The one that I really like is a plastic cord, isn't it? Yeah, but you can't change it. It's normal, you can't change it. What, the cord? Yeah, you just replace that in there. Yeah. Replace them. We've always replaced them to shit. What is it? Them chocolate blocks. The what? connections, terminals, always replace them. All right. Because they're not good for the way it goes. Okay, so this is option one. I kind of like that. Mm, can't mm. see very well. Option one. I really like them. Yeah, they're very nice and simple, mm. aren't they? And I like the black, how it ties in with the other accents. Yeah, I can't really see it for me. It's very dark. Okay, so that's option one. Is that your favourite? Well, it's the first one I've seen then, so I've nothing to do with <laughs> These are the ones that I chose. Please, can you pass me that glass bit? So these are the H&M ones that have got this really, like, um, really unique, like, recycled, blown glass effect to them. I absolutely love these ones because I think they just look so different and so unique but the only problem is the wire on them Rick says looks very cheap which I wouldn't notice whether a wire is rope or plastic but the electrician here is telling me that the fitting is very cheap <laughs> so I was like well could we not just put this on another fitting apparently not or my battery's gonna die my battery's gonna die I might have to change my phone so this is the problem, apparently. No, because I can't change that in there. Okay, so the wire is like plastic. Let's hold it up and see. My battery is gonna die though. I actually love these ones. So this is my choice. I just think it's a very, very big kitchen. With very small lights. But on that picture, there was very small lights. You've got to remember, the counter stores are going in, which are like a big feature, remember? And so is the shelving across the range. It's 
it's completely up to you. See, I like those. So you won't see a light bulb in it. So no. it would just literally be. I know. But with that, you can have them a bit shorter. No, I don't want them short. I want them long. It'd, only, it'd have to be about there. Because they're so little that you could get away with them. That's where you want it in my eye line. You have it any lower. Yeah. That's going to drive me mad. Would it? Because I'm looking at wire. Yeah. Whereas when you look at that, yeah. not many people come as tall as me. No. So that's in my eye line, the actual line. Yeah. It's too brassy. I'm not a fan. I feel like they just look very samey. It's too industrial. Yeah, and it's just like, that's what everyone does. Get an island and let's get a glass pendant and put it over the island. I like these smaller ones because they're like, they're a lot more different. Just hold them up again. It's that, that I don't like. I like that. I mean, it's a nice light, but it's not what, it's not what I've had in my vision. <laughs> they are nice. It doesn't, it's not like, wow. It's not like, wow, that's different. Whereas the other ones I like because they're like, oh, that's something different. Like, I've not seen that before. That's making too much of a feature of the light, which you don't Yeah. Want. I don't want to make a feature no. of the light. So hold the other one up on that end one because the mm. end pendant is Do like, it. oh, sorry, the middle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because that one's going to be long. Because that's the other thing, isn't it? Because you've got that one that's long there. The smaller ones, I think, are going to look... More subtle. I love those ones. Go for them then. I love them. There's two, two the same, and then there's one slightly different. What do you think then? Are you happy? For me, honestly, if you had that on these, I know on the rope you, cord, you have the perfect light fitting. I know. With the other thing, these. Well, the thing is, those were really, they were really cheap. They were only £25 each from H&M. So if yeah. we change our mind, I like them now, but if after a while we think, oh, actually, I don't like that cord, we can change them. Yeah. And plus, I don't really know how you fit them to the ceiling. So I think the decision is made. I think we're going to go with the thin one, although Rick's face is telling me different. <laughs> He's like, how are we going to fit these? I just want something simple. And I think these are nice. They're the vibe I want. Maybe I'll have another look. Listen, let's put them up for now. And if, if I, we I think I they look shit. Because they will look alright. Yeah. But he's anyway, Luke's gonna be putting them up, not me. Okay. So we'll leave them here for him and he can look at that and go, oh my god. Really? I've just been upstairs, I need to show you really quickly before my battery dies. <laughs> The bathroom is all coming together. Oh, Rick's put the basin away. So basically the basin has come for here and we just put it on to see what it would look like. Because you can't see because we're still halfway through painting. The decorators have been in, but look, <gasps> like the vibes. I'll put the picture on the screen because I took a little picture with like the basin sat here. Oh my God, it looks so nice. So now I need to decide on some, um, Handles turn here, but yeah, this is our, our freestanding tap that has gone in. I love how it looks in front of the tiles, and the bath is now sitting in place. It is all coming together. I'm so excited. So yeah, my battery is about to die, so we're going to go and head home and cook some dinner and have a nice little chilled evening. So I'll put my camera on to charge and then um, catch up in a little bit. Hello, happy Saturday. I was so rubbish at actually finishing, um, oh, <laughs> I was actually so rubbish at finishing any kind of vlogging yesterday. In fact, I've been so rubbish at vlogging all week long. I don't know, well, I do know. It's because basically nothing has been happening <laughs> apart from everybody having COVID. I tested negative yesterday evening and then again this morning. So I am free as a bird. I actually feel fine. I mean, I felt fine the whole way through, but today I feel like, okay, I'm just really tired. But I think it's just because I've had a really busy day. I've been up since like 6.30. Um, and it is now four o'clock and yeah, I just feel like I'm so sorry. This vlog is absolutely the most boring vlog I think I have ever filmed, but it's actually been the most boring week. <laughs> it's just been absolutely nothing going on. So 
we've been out to SAS football today we've been to Manchester and back and one thing I will say though it is the most gorgeous day like look at this weather it's four o'clock in the afternoon and look at it it's the most gorgeous gorgeous sunshine um, we've got back and uh, Rick is at home with the kids and my mum has been on holiday for the last week she's just got back um, on Thursday and I've not seen it obviously because of Covid and everything so then um, so I just rang and I was like should I come up and then I was like no actually let's go for a coffee because I've not been able to go anywhere I've been so bored all week it's a lovely like afternoon evening so I was like let me come and meet you let's go for a coffee so I've just got out of my hoodie my football scruffs that I was in and chucked this on this jacket by the way I am absolutely obsessed with this jacket it is from misguided and it's like this big like western it's almost like a leather kind of denim jacket kind of fit or kind of like a jacket but I absolutely love it and I've worn it twice now just with like black like a black basic outfit underneath which you know is just my go-to I've just got um just this black sweatshirt is actually so good I wear it all the time it's from and other stories and um, it's such a nice basic it's just the perfect like black sweatshirt I've got my H&M leggings on from my H&M haul and then my Gucci Prince Town, which I've not worn these yet this year you know it's spring when I can actually get these out and it's not like so cold that you can't possibly wear them so it's the first time actually really boring fact first time I've wear, worn a pair of shoes with like some part of my foot out and not socks since last autumn um so yeah it definitely just feels very spring like so we're gonna go and get a coffee I feel like I need a coffee I'm so tired today I don't know what it is I think um, me and the kids dad had a little bit of a row this morning not over anything like important but I mean like co-parenting with your ex and you know trying to agree on things when you obviously like don't agree on things and that's why you are separated I'm sure everyone else is the same like we bicker I would say like our relationship now is more like um, it's more like he's like an older brother and I'm a sister kind of relationship rather than anything else like we will fall out we will bicker we will have full-blown rows but it's it's nice because it's at the point where it's like even though we row we both like um appreciate each other's like friendship and um like no matter what like he's not going anywhere I'm not going anywhere we've got to get on but it doesn't stop us rowing so basically we had a big row this morning and it was something that I felt really strongly about and it actually really upset me so I was cried so my eyes are just tired and my contact lenses were all like misty from where I was crying and I just in generally general my eyes just feel really really tired so um so yeah that's good so I'm, I think I really need a coffee I feel exhausted and it's only four o'clock and I've still got like all this evening everyone's at ours tonight I'm cooking dinner Effie's requested spag bol so I'm going to just do a very very easy spaghetti bolognese and just chill out but me and Rick were just talking before like we need we so need um just some couple time we're not getting any time just me and him and we said that we were going to organise like every fortnight for my mum to babysit and have like a proper date night and make sure we prioritise it and it's still not happened and um, we're just feeling like we just really need like some date time and I honestly think people think like when when your kids are toddlers and babies that you don't get any time and actually you get less time the older they get like there's just always someone there and they don't go to bed at seven o'clock and it's just tiring um and it just means you don't get any adult time or any like couple like date night time or anything like that so we were just saying we really really need that i feel like we should do something tonight but but we can't because effie's actually tested positive for covid now so my mum can't come and babysit um but yeah so it's just all a bit hectic like this week has been the most hectic week but then still nothing's happened it's very frustrating so yeah I'm gonna go and meet my mum for a lovely coffee which is very much needed right now and then um, I think that's all about all I'm gonna film today because actually I'm so behind I've not vlogged anything all week because nothing's happened 
so uh, I'll probably end the vlog here pretty much and yeah I hope you just enjoy spending this very boring week with me and I apologize for this vlog just being very nothing and very random boring things and me just chatting <laughs> Chat shit basically but um i hope you all have a lovely sunday i'm gonna go off and get a lovely mocha and i might even get a nice cake um because i just feel like i need it today and go and see my mum who i've really really missed and and i will catch up with you all next week love you all have a lovely sunday bye